So that's the immorality of government. This organization, this matrix, to only degree, knows. To degree. And we'll, we'll go yeah. to the degrees. Yeah. I think it's very important. This organization only knows how to solve problems through one way, a singular way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus through the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I already agreed to in the beginning. Are we calling them violence like a fine? So violence would be uh, defined as placing a person in an involuntary position without their choice or consent. I rape, murder, theft, and, and assault, right? And uh, all, all violations of personal property rights. I own, beginning with body ownership, I own my own body, right? A politician will tell you otherwise. He'll tell you what you can and cannot do with your body, but you can't tell the politician, the political ruler, what he can or cannot do as well, right? So it's a unilateral relationship from, uh, from above going down. Uh, now you're mentioning, so what are your thoughts uh, on all of this then? Well, you know, I don't know, man. Like, I'm not an anarchist. Right you, right, you don't have to be. I have friends who uh, are just anti-government. It doesn't matter what you call yourself, right? But you, you already told me that in your day to life, you don't use violence. You don't place people in an involuntary position. You're for consent, presumably, right? And the areas of what government is objectively then, they have a monopoly on the services you and I want. I want law, I want security, I want roads. I want, I want these services, first class mail. Here in Virginia, they have a monopoly on alcohol. ABC, right? Yeah, that's pretty, that's bullshit. That is bullshit. They have a monopoly on the services and products I want. I don't have the freedom, though, to cancel or unsubscribe as I would from a real business service, right? Netflix tried to raise their prices a few years ago. Cancel, subscribe, I'm going to Hulu. Or I'm going streaming, right? You don't want to go to Hulu. Though. You don't want to go to Hulu. <laughs> well, you have choices. If McDonald raises their prices, you go to Burger King and Cookout, right? Now, when government raises the prices and taxes, you don't have a choice. Nor do you have the freedom to compete entrepreneurially against their monopolies in order to say, you know what, I can provide you a better service. It's not going to be abusive and harmful to you, the consumer. What about Obamacare? Obamacare, okay, so... I have a choice. No, you don't. You have to sign up. Well, I haven't yet. Right, and if you don't, they'll penalize you, right? They'll take from you. That's so not really so much good. of a choice. When someone's pointing a gun at you and telling you you have to sign up, you don't really have a choice you can say that in that matter, do well, you? Well, when, when shit hits the fan, they start pointing guns at us for not. Well, they do. If you don't pay your taxes, they will throw you into a cage. They will come and collect. If you resist, they will point guns at you if you resist, right? Well, my father's not a criminal. Right. But he doesn't pay his taxes. That's good. He well, I, I, And as much that you don't, don't want to give up your money to would be burglars and thieves, right? Uh, and people say, well, the taxes go too good. So I don't care what a thief does with the money they stole from me. But, but what I care about is that I get my wallet back. I know that I, my money's back returned to me, yeah. right? So, but he spends so much of like, doesn't matter. There'll still be charities. You know, the mafia was also known for giving out charities, right? Yeah. But at the same time, they're extorting people. Um, so you're mentioning earlier in regards to uh, police regards, right? Like maybe providing service. We can have security services. Some of the stuff already exists, like at malls or nightclub. Uh, private security in which you voluntarily pay for. The police, however, you're forced to pay for a service in which they don't have to provide. The Supreme Court has ruled in many cases that the police have no constitutional duty or obligation right, to I got protect their life. All right, yeah. so it's run a little long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got class. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But, uh, I just want to know what your alternative is. So all right, so throw the government out. All right, all right. So the alternative is pretty much uh, education. The alternative to inform ourselves with, with the truth of the stuff that they don't want to teach you when you go to that classroom. Uh, there's a lot of bullshit stuff that they'll, I went to VCU. There's a lot of bullshit stuff that they'll teach you in there to make you believe. It's like if you go to Walmart, what are they going to teach you? Walmart ethic, Walmart virtues. On the wall will be Walmart presidents. When we go to these public schools, that's all they teach you, government options. The alternative will be a free market society in which you have where the consumer's king, the consumer's in charge. I don't like your service, cancer subscribe, or I can compete and do it better myself. When you have these government monopolies, you don't have the freedom of economic choice. Yeah. Right? Netflix yeah. will not point a gun at you if you cancel and subscribe. No, the government not. will if you don't pay your taxes. Though. Well, I mean, right? figuratively. Well, literally. Uh, Wesley Snipes went to a case for three years for not paying his taxes. They could sit Wesley Snipes. Remember him? Uh, he went to jail for three years. Yeah, for three years. That's probably why we don't have Blade 5. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> so they could send him into a case. They could certainly send anyone else, right? Yeah. Right. And so the alternative is a society based on consent. There exists no factual They're evidence. Give me an example of Wesley Snipes. Right huh? My father does not pay his taxes. He hasn't since right. like 95. Uh, right. And it's good that he's uh, be, being able to evade that. I think that's very important and for, he's for not that. not like a convict. He just, right. They yeah. just keep sending him another bill, you know. Right. Hey, pay this bill. They lower right. it, actually. Right. Uh, yeah. You try to find all the ways to kind of keep your money as, as much as possible. I mean, that's the whole point of this uh, that we're trying to go to. A free society doesn't you know, force you to pay a product, right? And say, well, you're stuck with this service for the rest of your life, like Social Security. You never gave consent to that when you were born, but you're forced to pay for it. And when it's time for you to retire, there'll be nothing left for you. I know, man. The, the way I see it is what we got right now, it works. No, it doesn't. 
is heading into downpour like Detroit. Unfunded liabilities to the low collapse. We'll see, man. We'll see. Good. Obama. Man. Well, Obama? I'm not a fan. You're not a fan? Neither am I. I'm not a fan of any political ruler or stranger who says, you know what? I know how best to spend your so money. So then who do we make, who do we appoint the ruler? You don't, don't need rulers. the people? You rule you, yourself. You rule yourself. You yeah. rule your body. No one can tell you what you can and cannot do with your body. Would you agree to that statement? Yeah, man. That's like some... Uh, Lord of the Flies stuff. Well, Lord of the Flies, we can still have rules, we can still have law. Government has a monopoly on law, the majority on to the minority. So without government, you have thousands of competing communities catering to your lifestyle and preferences. We can have an apartment complex that's not 420 friendly, one across the street that is. But it is like you sign that, that lease, it's like cannabis is allowed, no cash though. You give explicit consent. There exists no factual evidence that you have a contractual relationship with government, right? You can't show it to me, right? So the alternative is a consensual, voluntary, contractual society versus uh, an oppressive, uh, non-consensual relationship that you have that, with I mean, it's, it sounds nice. All right, well, let me give you some pamphlets before you run away. Then. I would love some Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. How old is your dad evade taxes? What's that? Cards. Not well, evade, he went to like, jail for a while for how does money he laundering, get racketeering. And uh, he did his little, you, you pay, uh, uh, what do you call that? Uh, you pay your... Uh, you do a, commit a crime and you, uh, you pay a fine. Well, it's called a restitution. That's what it's called. But as soon as doing racketeering, like trying to hide his money from being stolen. Or? Yeah, he he lived in Las Vegas for a while. So he did get caught. From. See, he got he got caught. He right. Went, he served three years and then was on parole and did his parole. But after parole, he's like, fuck that. I'm not paying five hundred thousand dollars in retribution. Redistribution is yeah. what they call it. It's called stealing. Yeah. <laughs> call it by, by his given name. But is right? to redistribute to other no. people? Like, to government. Yeah, to government. Yeah. Restitution. So he wasn't doing this to other people, just to government. No, he was. He was doing He was, he was, uh, he was an illegal racketeering firm, you know, like gambling in Las Vegas. Well, it's funny because here in Virginia, they call it the lottery, right? That's, that's perfectly legal gambling. But yeah. if you try to do it, you know, criminal, right? Yeah. How dare you compete with our lottery system? Yeah, the right? SWAT team came in. Oh there. my God! It was, it was, I was young, so you know, life changing. It was pretty cool. Man. No, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah. But yeah, so he uh, stopped paying his taxes. Like that, and, uh, nothing so far, you know. I guess right. we'll see, right? Well, eventually, that's where we want to go. You it's know, been like five years. Though. Right. <laughs> well, if we can get our community here in Richmond on board with this, together we can all stop paying taxes, stop charging sales taxes. We can get there, you know, as as a, as a group. You know, when we have these shared values for nonviolence. I mean, man, that's a long road. Bro. I'm, I'm in it all the way. I'm in it. Well, we only have 208,000 people in Richmond. We only have to convince a good 10 percent for a critical mass change. I'm from right? Alaska, man. How long from Alaska? Get there? Yeah. Uh, yeah well, well, focus well, only on Richmond. No, no focus. Yeah, this is Liberate RBA. Liberate Richmond. Okay. There are other groups, other chapters. You know, but for me, it's like change doesn't start overseas in places I've never been to, right? People talk about changing the world. Well, let's start with our own interpersonal relationship within our own friends, like, right? Yeah, and then like going out there like to the compass where I'm at now to, to meet with local neighborhoods, with, uh, with, with you, right? Fellow Richmonders. Yeah. Uh, and then from there, we can kind of grow. You know, once you see the matrix, you can't really plug yourself back in once yeah. you, you know the truth of it, right? And then you can spread the word. <laughs> right. And that's that's where we got to go. There that's go. the direction I want to go. All right, man. What was your Yeah, name? yeah. Cal. Yours? Cal. Alex. Alex. Pleasure to meet All you, right. man. Yeah. Cool. That. Hopefully I'm famous. <laughs> Take good care. So that's the morality of government. This organization, this matrix, the only way they know how to solve problems is through a singular way, through one way, and that's through the threat of and use of violence to solve any problems versus though the plurality of nonviolent solutions that you and I and, and my, my friends here share. Okay. So what are your thoughts on that? Um, my thoughts on it are that uh, I, I don't necessarily think government is immoral because, uh, at least not our government, because it's a social contract, meaning that we have to agree to it and that, uh, that it gets its power from us. Okay. And since we elect officials, uh, they're reflective of what, we, what our opinions are. Um, so All right, so, so let's, let's break that down then. Okay. Uh, so you're saying it's a social contract. Yeah. Um, can you show me this contract? The Constitution. Is your name on the Constitution? It isn't. Right. So there exists then no factual evidence that you have a real, tangible, explicit contract with government. And all government is, they have a monopoly on the services you and I want, right? You're talking about the services and what government provides. I want roads, I want security, I want law, I want currency, I, I want all this stuff, first class mail. But they have a monopoly on those services in which we, you and I, we don't have the economic freedom to cancel and subscribe as you would from a real business service. Okay. At least, I mean, you can show me your contract with Netflix or with your car, or with your home, uh, with AT&T, right? But you can't show me a real contract 
but it's covered, right? Thirty. Because, but because I'm an, a, an American citizen and I agreed to the, that means I that I agree to the contract. Right, and I will say, but show me the contract. That's not a real contract, right? If yeah. uh, nobody gave power attorney for you over 200 years ago to sign that in your behalf. Right? Uh, someone who signs a contract, a party, that contract is only applicable to them. I can't write up my own contract and force their name on there. You'll be, you'll consider that wrong and immoral, especially if I don't have power of attorney, right? Uh, someone can't do that in your name for Netflix or for AT&T or Sprint. You would yeah. say, I didn't sign that, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so in, in the same regards, it has to be contractual because that's how real contracts are. Right okay. in that regard. Uh, so the and what government then has in these monopolies? Because again, going back to saying that we want these services too, but I want the freedom to cancel or unsubscribe, as you would have a real freedom from a contract, right? Uh -huh. Like Netflix tried to raise their prices two years ago, and people like cancel and subscribe, go to Hulu, right? Mm -hmm. uh, McDonald raises the prices, you cancel, go to Sprint. If you're, your service contract for AT and T, you're dissatisfied, you go to Verizon, right? Mm -hmm. When government does something you dis you're dissatisfied with. There, it's illegal to go anywhere else. You don't have the freedom to compete against their monopolies in order to say, you know what, I can provide you a better contractual service that's not gonna be abusive or harmful to you, the consumer. Okay. Right? So the opposite of what government has, they have a monopoly on these services. So, and that's indisputable, like, yeah, I want roads, I want security, but you know what? The Supreme Court has ruled in many cases that the police have no obligation to protect your life, your property, or your freedom, none. So imagine that now, you're being forced to pay for a service in which they don't have to provide. If someone came to your house asking, would you sign this contract, would you? Uh, no. Right? It's like, uh, is this a scam? Like, close the door, get off my lawn, right? Yeah. <laughs> So the opposite of what we have then with the government would be a free market society. That's voluntary, that's consensual, that's contractual. What exists with government is oppressive, it's uh, non-consensual, right? It's, it's non-contractual, right? Okay. Um, and I guess in, in that regard, uh, at least you could show me a real contract in a free market society. Currently there exists no factual, there's actually a guy who's uh, rewarding like $10,000 for anyone who can show factual evidence you have a contract with government. Uh, no one's been able to claim that reward for a while. Okay. So, uh, I don't know, so what, what, how would you define freedom then? Um, how do I define freedom? The ability to do what you please as long as you don't harm others. Right, yeah, and, and that would like include like uh, self-ownership, that I own my own body, right? Yeah. And you don't make that claims over anyone else's body, right? So then when you look at government then, what is it that politicians do, right? They may claim ownerships over your body. They tell you what you can and cannot do with your own body, right? In terms of cannabis or alcohol uh, or any other vices. The idea is that you tell yourself what you can and cannot do because you elect officials who are... And what, okay, all right, and if, if that's something you agree with, and that's perfectly fine, but what about those who disagree, right? Those opinions are not forced onto them. Yeah. whether they did not want to participate in it or not, mm -hmm. right? Uh, so even those who agree that I, I'm okay with having a politician to own me, those who are not okay with that, you know, you would consider that to be immoral, right? Violently forcing your ideas now into other people, whether they don't want to be part of it or not, right? Okay. Um, so now these opinions and preferences that we have with cannabis or any other rules that uh, we may or share or not, in a free market society, you have competition of communities. So Virginia is one monopolized community, the majority opinion to the minority. In a free market society, you have thousands of competing communities catering to your lifestyle and preferences. You can have an apartment complex building here that's not canvas friendly. One across the street that's 420 friendly, right? Uh -huh. Like you move to a comfort, uh, like an apartment with a contract, a real explicit contract, cats allowed, dogs are not, right? Cannabis is allowed here, cannabis is not allowed here. But at least you can show me a contract there. That's explicit, that's consensual, and you agree to those rules. Right? With the monopoly on law that government has, you don't have that kind of contractual relationship. You can't say I disagree or, or agree. Okay. Uh, it's going to be forced onto you regardless, right? So, so is this different or different of, of enhancing state government or? Well, essentially all governments work this way. Uh, in, in terms of like how they fund themselves through taxes, through, through stealing property, to fund their ideas, to be forced onto other people whether they want it or not. That's kind of how it works uh, in, in that regard. Uh, so it's a critique, also an, ex an honest examination, right? Like I'm against, I don't use violence to solve my problems. Uh, and here's an organization that calls itself government that does, right? Uh, and at some point you kind of have to kind of, you know, look at that and examine that and reconcile uh, your own moral integrity because it seems to me like this one is trying to trick me into compromising my moral integrity by supporting an organization that does which that I, I am adamantly against, right? Okay.
Uh, and so and, and what this table here is set up behind me is we're part of a non-political organization. So it has nothing to do with Republican or Democrats or any political parties whatsoever. Um, trying to like uh, unite with these values that we already share for nonviolence and, and let's go that way, right? Away from the politics, away from politicians, away from government altogether to something that's voluntary and consensual and no one makes claim over your body. Okay. Right? Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm Cal, by the way. Yeah. Fidel. Fidel.